goes this away. This is where we die. Where, are we this the knife? is where they die. Respect. I'm just gonna sit here in a whole fire until we leave. Man. <laughs> <Might as well. laughs> All right. Take us over here, aka Angry Porto, aka Clancy, aka Too Many Goddamn Nicknames. Here with my boy Tiki Taco. Uh, old man Moses is dead. <laughs> old man Moses is dead. Uh, Maxipad. Um, who's Mo? <laughs> who's Mo? And Zay and Z, no Z. AFK. AFK. Cool. She was ready to do. Would you rebuy? I'm glad uh, she brought it up. Uh, the, but. You didn't warn us that you're gonna just start. God damn off. it! Right. Nope, nope, we're not doing it now. <laughs> oh, man, no, not doing sure it. if would we buy. We'll re we'll report back. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, can we do it now? Are we ready? Are we here? Yes. Are, we here? are we present? I'm not present. present. I'm playing a goddamn game, boy. Fuck. What? Fuck. Play a goddamn game, boy. Someone take the fucking reins. I'm too angry. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ink, it's Ink, it's Slow, aka Porto, aka Too Many Goddamn Nickname. Is that right? Yes, keep going. <laughs> and we're doing a this is today I play. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, wow, Deep Rock Galactic. Let's talk deep about it. Deep Cock Rocket. Deep, deep Rock Collective. Yeah. It's too. First of all, it's way too easy to say Deep Cock Galactic and then. Always say that. Yeah. There's a few of these streams that are called Deep Cog Galactic. <laughs> yeah, they just didn't catch it. Yep. Make the joke once, and then it just... It just sucks. Yep. So let's talk about it, guys. This, this is what you wanted. This is what you had uh, in mind. Yeah. This is what you wanted. Yeah. This is what we're getting. <laughs> uh, I enjoy it very much. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... pretty good. Alright. Review complete. Yes, what, <laughs> would we buy? Um, this isn't the, this isn't the structure. Where's the structure? Okay, okay, okay. Let's first talk about as a cooperative game. How did it stand up to other cooperative games that you like? Uh, that's a like, good. That's a good way to start. I like the. I like it. The. All right. I would say for my. Um. I don't. I mean. Yes, it's cooperative, but they didn't really do. I mean, I, there, I suppose there could be better. Uh, they could the the classes could feel more specialized. I think. I don't know. I mean, like maybe it's just because I play the gunner and all I do is shoot stuff. Yeah, that's probably. I, I just agree with you. I feel like the classes are all pretty well fleshed out and unique. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, definitely. you're right. It's just because I'm playing the gunner, and the only thing that I can do is make a shell for people. That's it. That's my special. Dude, you you have the, the zip lines. You have yeah, the zip lines are awesome. The yeah, the zip amazing. Lines. Compared to literally all of you guys, I feel like I haven't been able to get to places very well. But even then, like, I have ledges, so I technically could make ledges. Right, I so feel yeah, like no, most it, classes no, are well balanced. You to you're totally right, because, like, w between us, we have all of the tools that we need to get anywhere we need to get. But, like, separately, we could not do it. Yeah, I, would, I don't know what class do you guys think would be even capable of doing single player. Driller, and oh, I'd say all, like any of them could do it. Uh, single player, it. I was actually reading a review, or, or not a review, but it's for sort of the uh, design for what the driller is supposed to be for. Like the gunner, it does a shitload of damage to the hard guys. It it has so really me. good so movement. Well, what? The gunner. The hard guys, yeah. Shitload of damage. Sorry, it's a oh, joke. Sorry. Keep going. That was a really bad joke, <laughs> I guess. I interrupted your flow. Sorry. Uh, 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 the the zip lines are a great group utility to be able to get through places, and honestly, there are a lot of um, guides, like meta, to use those for really hard missions. Everyone jumps around. Like, you make a, a spider net out of them. Yeah, I... Because, like, in, you could, in theory, just keep doing the zip line so that you don't get hit by stuff. Is that what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And if you get knocked off, you have ones underneath you to catch you. Yeah. It's really weird. I didn't see it until today. And, um, 
I, I don't really necessarily like that strategy, but you can do it. Yeah, it feels cheap so, as fuck. Yeah, it does sort of feel cheap. But, um, you know, whatever you have to do for the hardest difficulties, too, like, that's a strategy. Yeah, and full, so Survival. full disclosure for us, we, uh, we've done up to Hazard 3. So what is it? Does it go up to Hazard 5 or 4? Hazard 5. Yeah. Okay, so we haven't even it's unlocked Hazard, Hazard 5. 5. Yeah. And that's, like, some... I mean, we get distracted, but that's... We're not bad players by any means. Maybe we're bad, I don't know. I'm but terrible. I feel like there's a lot of challenge left we haven't even... Yeah, and I think uh, the game itself is very replayable. In my opinion, oh, yeah. um, for like, like such like, there's not a lot of lore or anything. Yeah, there's nothing. There is like yeah, nothing, pretty much. Play. That's kind of what I think was great about it for us is we just pick up and play it, and we don't have to like, we don't have to get sucked into a story. We don't have to try to do that. It's just like, all right, do we want to play stuff? Yes. It's 10:30 at night. I'm not really in the mood to try to absorb story right now. And really? on that note, I think we'll keep playing it because of that. Yeah, it's a really, really good socializing game. I would totally, totally play this way more often. In fact, whenever you guys were like, hey, we're going to play Deep Rock Collective today, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to be there for that one for sure. Oh, thanks, On motherfucker. Time. Oh, we're going to play Fallout well, 76. Nah. After a <laughs> while, man, it was hard to pick it back up. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, also, going, uh, going off the replayability thing... Um, all these levels, I'm pretty sure, are procedurally generated, and I have not really oh, yeah, found yeah, yeah. any repeating patterns. Like, the procedural gener generation in this game is top-notch. I agree with that. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I just felt... Oh, okay. And it doesn't Ooh. feel... I mean, they feel expensive, uh, expansive, but they don't feel like, uh, you know, like, empty... You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's the kind of a problem that you run into with other procedurally generated uh, games is sure. that things can things can get weird, and for or the most track. part, I don't feel like well, it happens. Yeah, it get weird or redundant. Like, oh, I've seen that thing before. I've seen that. I've seen that pattern next to that pattern before. But like, yeah, I, I don't. I don't feel like that at all with this game. Every cavern is literally unique and feels unique. Well, and it's beautiful. Yeah, that, that like, too. It's a like, colorful game. What would we Purple. call this game? It's oh, it's obviously not AAA, but it's I mean it's an indie game, right? But like, the graphics are are solid. They look great. Do they? And they're they like the they glowing. They they like, are, but it's like that's part of the style, <laughs> the the like the triangular style. I forget what it's called. It's like how WoW still looks good, you know? Like, yeah, it's like oh. a. Not anymore, but. <laughs> well, yeah, I know what you mean, though. It, it looked good for a long time because uh, the style count. was. Is that what you're polygons, well, there we go, yeah. Well, it's not only the polygon count, it's like they made it cartoony. Um, it's like how Disney, even old Disney stuff still looks good because it's just cartoony, you know? But also, like, it's not just that. Like, the, the glow effects and, like, the fact that we are in a cave, so it's kind of like. It creates this, like, Cool little. I would like to take a, like the, cool ambient. The lighting oh. itself needs to be taken a moment, and we should all talk about the lighting individually. But yeah, go on. Yeah. I just like the the particle effects. Like right now, I see dust in the cave, and sometimes when we're around like a glowy thing, it gl makes the dust glow that color. Or when you're near mushrooms, like certain. Um, zones have different effects. That's, oh, the other thing. Like, your map changes in the same map, the way it looks, what cavern type of cavern you're in, but then also between the different zones, it completely changes. Oh, I hate the first yeah. zone. Yeah. The zones are awesome. I love the zone aspect of this. Yeah, and they're all they're all unique, too, and you would... Uh... There's a way up over here. Yeah, how many, how many zones are there? I think there's like six? Or six or seven? Maybe eight? I don't know. When I go back, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll add how many. But yeah, they're all they all have a unique feel. Some of them have unique enemies. Like those exploding guys don't show up on the the glacial map, but they uh, but then the glacial map has the uh, those ice gusts. Right. So maps yeah. maps have a different 
maps have a different combination of either different enemies and or different like mechanics that you have to deal with. Yeah, the mechanics, especially like the fire, is a pain in the ass. The fissures opening up underneath you, like that is spooky. Yeah. Um, what else? I think Max found a new see, spot. There's a blue cap that I know just you can digging get. in. Uh, I look at the map and then I just dig towards the glowy thing because I'm a driller. <laughs> That's how I do this <laughs> shitting. Only I can get um, that blue cap over here. How did you guys feel about like the weapons? Because I know for like. I, my perspective, I played a lot of Borderlands, and the game, like the guns, never felt satisfying. And for a while, the game, the guns in this game were really satisfying, and then I felt like after I unlocked a lot of stuff for this gun, it feels like I'm stagnated. Well, yeah, I mean that—that's why you would. I think after a certain point, if you get that feeling with your class, you would switch to a different class, and then just go. Kind of... Keep right there, but we're we're keeping our roles. But I mean, I, I think I think that is a very valid criticism too, because if you only stick to one role, the guns will start to get a little bleh. That's sure. kind of why they I started I, out that's really That's kind of why I think. Yeah, I think that's why I made the comment like, "Oh, we could do more to differentiate our classes." It's probably because I've been staring down a minigun the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you have that's the coolest like guns. My You're thing. complaining about the guns. Fuck. <laughs> so the. But, <laughs> I mean, it's a mini gun. It only does one thing. Yeah. It, well, it does it really good, but it only does one thing. Right. About I... the guns, though, there isn't a meta. You can play through this on the hardest difficulty without any mods on any weapon. It's something that they actually brag about. That's pretty cool. But, like. Maybe it's just I, I'm not. As grindy, I wish I had the jades to upgrade or change my weapon. That's all. Yeah, the the marketplace. I don't know. It, the prices seem a little funky, but yeah, I mean, I like mean, you were saying, I what guess. What else it, do you spend your credits on? Yeah, exactly. And um, oh. the, yeah, the game is sort of designed to be grindy. That's the other thing too. Is the they give you the option to change like how your character looks. But I feel like there's a lot of room for them to be more imaginative with. I can't like, even see like my beard. Different different ways of being able to style your beard. Yeah, and yeah. there's just not a whole lot. There's like oh, Fu Manchu. You got <laughs> your your handlebar. <laughs> got the little twirl up on the side. And Zaya, let's be real. You want you want girl dwarves too. Oh <laughs> my God. Well, okay. It depends on what lore you follow. <laughs> okay. This, I might be in a girl dwarf right now. We don't know. <laughs> Only she, wants one way be, she wants to be Moira Bronzebeard. That's what she wants to be. <laughs> the armor, like, frustrates me, though, because I can't even see my upgrades. Like, I can't mm. even see the beard that I made because my armor literally covers it. And no matter what armor I pick, it covers it. Um, I feel like this so maybe a few more appearance options would help. Yeah, I feel like it, this game would do really well with, um, like, crowdsourced mod content with, oh my goodness. with that stuff in mind, with, with cosmetics in mind. Can you imagine, like, a player-made map? Yeah. Or, or even, like, yeah. type, game type? No, yeah, I think you nailed it, Z. I think uh, opening up the editor for players and having, like, a custom map lobby would be great, too. That great. I think they both said it, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess, so, here's, here's a question, what could this game improve upon? I guess for me, I, I, don't, um, I don't mind that there isn't a story here, but I think if they added one, that could only make the game better, right? So, so it's not fully released, so they could, like, it add could be, that sure. Is this technically in beta still, or, or yeah, early access? Like early access, access. Yeah. One of those fucking things. Um, one thing that I think... They could do and it seems like they, they're setting themselves up to have a very easily expandable game i think that they could um do more zones and like play with different environments and they could do more game types i am kind of sick of gathering eggs kind of sick of getting molokite um, 
yeah. And also, if they could add maybe a few more types of special gems that you can find in the walls. I feel like sometimes I, I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a special thing, and I start to mine it, and the little thing that's on the wall disappears, like there wasn't actually a vein or anything behind it. I don't know if that's just like a red herring, or if, um, there's already one um, resource in the game that I got earlier today called Error. It's, I guess, a super rare resource that they don't even have uh, any arms. <laughs> they don't even have anything that they that you can use it for. Most people thought it was like a bug or an Easter egg, but it's like, called Error. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's actual voice uh, acting for the dwarves though that like. Like, this is a weird cube, or whatever, like... <laughs> oh, so, I've like, gotten one of those before. Yeah, so... You can't use that for anything yet, and it's super rare. There's no reason, like, nothing no in the game yet? Yeah, nothing in the game yet. See, that's kind of cool, and that me makes me think that they have such a good setup to expand upon it. That the only way that, like, it could be better is... Doing that. Yeah, and, and I think the upgrade, the weapons, that was only released at the end of last year. These, um the secondary weapons that we have. Really? Okay. So we could continue playing this when they do a major update and review new things. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. So, uh, Max, you wanted to talk about um, some lighting shit with Deepcock? Fucking lighting, yeah. Key point about the lighting is if you play by yourself, it's terrifying. <laughs> I appreciate you so much more as a scout when I play by myself because it's hard to find shit without your lights sticking to the ceiling and shit. And at, uh, wherever, like, if you your headlamp only goes what three feet in front. Of you. So if you don't have a light thing down, basically you have a little tunnel yeah. three feet in front of you that you can see. And you don't have other people to throw their lights on their cooldown. So, like, you have four things that you have to time carefully. If you throw them on a hill, they roll away. That's a really interesting point, actually. <laughs> like, I never place lights unless I'm going down a little corridor on my own. Lol. I mean, yeah, so there's that aspect of it, Max, which I totally agree with. But, not. I mean, it's not even a but. I think the way, like, the lighting in this game is like almost a mechanic in and of itself because yeah, yeah. It, it is pitch black without you throwing flares and yeah without the scout it's even darker because the regular flares are pretty weak so it's almost like the yeah the lighting is a mechanic you all you have to manage in and of itself which is which is great i like that it can, kind of a can, Sorry, go it's ahead. not a very obvious one, too. Sure, yeah, like coming into the game, you didn't. I wouldn't have even thought that. But then, yeah, playing it a little bit, and you know, you sort of get used to it. Because I remember playing at the very beginning and being like, "Fuck, it's so dark," and like sort of spamming flares and not knowing uh, how many to use and when. But as you get used to it, it's, it sort of becomes second nature. But yeah, like I mean, part of the title is danger, darkness, dwarves, like darkness like, <laughs> yeah. it's literally it's literally a mechanic yeah. you're managing and, and if, you, um, if you don't have a scout like you're saying it becomes even more of a mechanic that you have to manage yeah things sneak up on you and the morkite like mining morkite is a ball egg on the solo missions because I, I can't find it it takes me forever to find it on the ceilings and stuff uh, that's actually like the, the worst mission in my opinion to do solo Really? You, uh, it's like the yeah. easiest when you're with friends. Yeah, I can't find the stuff. It takes me like 45 minutes to do that mission. Whoa. Yeah. I've tried it a few times. I was like, that's just a fluke. I just suck. No. <laughs> it just it it just sucks. Uh, at least that is a driller. It sucks. I'm wondering if they're going to also make it plat uh, cross-platform. And that's my sort of tangent here. What would you guys think about like cross-platform support or control like controller gameplay with this or oh, this know, be awesome. yeah and i think it, there's no pvp element so I, I don't see a problem with it like yeah you know, the, the the issue with crop plus pl pl uh blah, 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 blah. english motherfucker do you speak it plot crash form plot crash form the issue with cross-platform for fps is, is 
keyboard and mouse will have a crazy advantage. And you have you have console people be like, no, nah, bro. It's like, no, the best keyboard and mousers are gonna fuck you. But this is a co-op game, so I I don't see a problem with that. I I would be fine with it. Yeah, the only way that controllers can keep up is with auto aim stuff enabled, and that that just doesn't make it competitive. Yeah. Just there's, it's not competitive. Um, yeah, I would totally. This would be really fun to play cross-platform. Like even, I think Z didn't you say on the Switch? Oh yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, that'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to just like split screen option local player local cop. Um, you guys brought up the utilities balance between classes, which is cool, which is true. I thought about this in more depth. The engineer is probably the most supporty class out of all of them. I don't know if you guys would agree. Um, I, I'm not, I wouldn't say supporty, but I can defend. Um, well, like, I'll... you have, like, the tur turrets, you, like, set up a spot to protect us while we mine. Are you are you talking about, yeah. like, new class ideas? No, I'm just saying, like, what the, the classes actually sort of excel at. Like, oh, it's okay. really very balanced. They can get anywhere. They have decent weapons. They have a lot of explosives. Scout is sort of weak with damage, and their utility is sort of selfish, but their utility is extremely strong. They're, they're, well, I guess their lighting isn't selfish. We are just talking about that. Their utility with lighting is amazing. Yeah, and the mobility. Like, it's... I, I can't even yeah. imagine playing any other class right now. I'm so used to the scout because I can literally go anywhere, pretty much. But your mobility is very selfish, whereas like, um, say my like the drillers' mobility is make stairs. I can go anywhere. Um, or the uh, the gunner's mobility is make the point for everybody. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It I don't know if selfish is the right word. Like, I can get things that you guys just can't get though. So that's true. I mean, it's just helps. singular. You, singular. You sure. Okay. Share. You can't share it. I don't mean it like in a negative way besides the <laughs> no way there's no way to share it with us. Like, but at the same time, when one of us goes down, you're the one that needs to almost save them half the time because you have the mobility to do so. Yeah. Yeah, like if we didn't, like, in that fucking map that we died on anyways because we got gangbanging in the pit, like, Tiki went down up top with no scout that wouldn't, Tiki would be dead there the whole time. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I would have made it stairs there eventually. Like, um, yeah. Uh, and then the gunner. It seems like they're strong. Like all their stuff is very strong. Their shield is very strong, team based. Their zipline is very strong, team based. Their guns are very strong against like heavy units. But it sort of seems like they're. Your resources are limited. Is that true, Tiki? I, I haven't played the gunner at all, so I'm, I was looking for your input on this. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if I would call it limited, but my contribution apart from killing stuff is minimal. Like I set up, uh. like like out of combat. But I should say out of combat, my contribution is minimal. I have a zip one, and that's cool. But I mean. I shoot. I have. I have done. I shoot stuff, and that kind of that's kind of the extent of my role. I put down the shield so that when we have oh shit moments, um, you know, it can help get a breather from that. Um, I mean, it, there there is a degree of um, you know, like I my ammo runs out pretty quickly, and for the bigger gun that I have, I have less like um, overall ammo. Uh, to get some of the mods will increase your ammo count, and those are yeah. almost necessary because when you get the refuel or the resupply thing, you get more ammo. Tiki, I wanna, I don't wanna say d disagree with you. That's not the right word, but like, your shields are super useful, your zip lines are super useful, and you are the best at killing bugs. You're not gonna be on a mission where we don't kill bugs. So I don't know. If, well, like, I think yeah, all the, I think all the classes are very well designed and balanced. So I don't know if it's fair to, for you to say like I'm the mo the least useful out of combat because there's like there's kind of such thing as out of combat. I mean, well, no, I can understand what he's saying because I think the engineer has a little bit of that too. Like outside of combat, my pickaxe is slow. My like my my platforms are mostly useful for you, the scout, and like if, if there's just no monsters. I don't know. There, other classes can do what I'm doing better than me, so I just right. kind of spend my time just like. 
trying to find the most rare item because I'm not going to find something on the ceiling. I'm not going to dig deep for shit. I would argue that everybody's pickaxe, every roll should have something special about their pickaxe. Um, I was actually weirded out when I looked at Z's class and it, like, okay, so the driller one, I actually mine stuff faster with my pickaxe. My, my mod is uh, rocks take less hits to be destroyed. Mine does which, more damage to creatures. That's not like really class specific. That's not good for an engineer to have, right? Sure. Yeah. I don't know what else know it what would it. be though. Yeah, I don't okay, know. I, I I get what you're saying, Max, but I think that's I think we're being a little yeah, nitpicky yeah. on that. But well, yeah, that's sort I, of a that's sort of a good sign. Like if we're being nitpicky, that's because the game's pretty well fleshed out. I know. It's just weird uh It's it, it's an interesting place to uh, specialize. That's all. And it's weird they already specialize in one, but maybe the other ones aren't specialized as closely. Yeah. Um but it's nice to know those inputs on the gunner, because that's I really have no in, uh, yeah, experience yeah, with I, it besides what you've done. It feels good playing, and um, you know, it, like my main contribution to the team is squashing bugs. I mean, it has that utility about them, right? But uh, you know, if you were to remove all the bugs from the map, you'd never take it. Yeah, but it also wouldn't be this game. <laughs> I know, that's also I, true. but I mean that's that's the whole why. I mean, you know, I liked the role that I have because I don't really need to think too much. If if shit is hitting the fan, I go, okay, do I need to place my shield yet? No, okay, kill bugs. I, I guess <laughs> like it, it's really that the I would say that the engineering and the engineer and the gunner are combat specific classes, and the scout and the driller are resource based classes. And that's good for, like, really good for team balance. It's just, I guess, from a... If you aren't a full team, The then... platforms are insanely useful, Z. No, okay, useful, that's fine, but useful in a team. Otherwise, I'm building... I'm using up all of my platforms to get myself somewhere. I guess, though. So. That's true. I, I... That's true. That's what I'm doing. Like, I, I can't... I'd have like, to make a huge bridge to get to where I can just put up one platform. Yeah, but this fun. this game is meant to, like I know you can play it solo, but this game is meant to be played for people. Oh yeah. Each each as but a different class. If you're playing solo too, it's a different game though. Sure. You have a robot, yeah. so you don't have to get to the roof. Sure. The and like you don't need to use your platforms as often. Yeah, and this game has public oh. drop in, so like. There really is no reason to play this game solo, and I don't really think you should, to be honest. Like, it's a co-op game. It's meant, meant to be played co-op with puppies, or ideally with friends, but with puppies, if not. I'd play it solo and enjoy it, so to each their own. Fuck you! Boy, that escalated quickly. Yeah. I think, you, a good point, though, I don't know gameplay with that robot. Yeah, I don't know. That could be what saves it from being imbalanced. Yeah, I play, I enjoyed the engineer when I was playing solo because you had two little gunner buddies that were watching your back when you were mining resources, which, as the driller, uh, I've been playing a lot solo with the driller, I don't, I get ganked all the time when I'm trying to gather shit. It sucks. But, um, I, my last point on here is the maps and the modifiers. So, uh, I was telling Z last night on the mission boards, there's actually um, like difficulty boosters for some of these missions. Mm -hmm. uh, let me look and see if I can find one off offhand. Um, Are they like yeah. mutators? Yeah, yeah the mutators. Exactly. Like no, no so, shields. I think. I, atmosphere. Yeah, there's one that made us sound like chipmunks. <laughs> that was rich atmosphere. Um, Mech Terra Plague, Boomer Plague, all these different ones, and they add difficulty. And that difficulty boost actually increases the loot you get as well. Those are the evolutions and infestations, but there's also modifiers. Those modifiers, one is that uh, uh, rich in atmosphere to make her uh, voices high, which doesn't really have any benefit really. But there are other ones that like give you golden bugs. Golden bugs means every bug you kill, you get gold. By the way, the quest that I need or the mission that I need for my next uh, part of the, the mission board thing, Golden Bug Quest. Yeah, nice. see, there you go. So let's let's do that mission. I think we can conclude the rest of 
That was, that's a lot lost in my notes. So. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, and so I, I think holistically, I guess we're getting to the point where it's like, would you rebuy? Like, I don't have a lot of, like, a lot of the games we've been playing. I have, there are some big criticisms criticisms for them, but like, for this one, I think it's in a really good place. Just expand on it. Maybe maybe release some gender swaps. Uh, maybe yeah, release one female... more class. Like a maybe yeah. like a medic class would be cool. Um, like like all of our most of our criticisms are nothing that are like fundamentally wrong with the game in any way it's all it's all stuff that could be easily fixed by just being like all right more time in development will get you the cosmetic stuff that you need and they can put in more uh game modes and they can put like it's like all the only sort of uh criticisms that we really have of it are things that are probably going to get changed anyway yeah or, or at least they're easily fixable I kind of agreed to like of all the games that we play that we can be pretty cool, pretty critical of like the stuff for this game very minimal. It's very 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 good. Yeah, it seems like it Super knows tall. exactly what it wants to be, which is just like a co-op kind of grindy shoot the shit, but you also have the ability to turn up the difficulty and fuck yourselves like we do occasionally. So like there's the, there's there's a difficulty challenge there, but it's also pretty just chill, grindy, kind of fun co-op. Loot, not quite loot Can shooter, I say, but there's another thing that I really enjoy about it too is the pacing is really good. Like there are times where it's hectic and you're you're like crapping your, but then there's the lull where you're just okay. Let's concentrate on getting our objectives filled. Unless and we're then, playing that one map. Yeah, some missions are harder than others. I think we need to learn which ones are more stressful. Because yeah. I think uh, that's what kills us. We. Uh, yeah. Well, and like 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 uh, Tiki was saying, some there is there are hectic moments that can pop up out of nowhere, too, depending on what you do. Like I think that the map we were on yesterday, where it just turned to shit. I think we collected two eggs at once, and it was on. Hazard 3, which is kind of our hardest difficulty right now. And we were, weren't we low on ammo, too? Yeah, it was, more it was like, just like... It was, more, it was sort of a perfect storm. We were in this hole, like the bottom of a pit with a bunch of those rolling things, and... You know, it was, yeah, it that was, pit was hot. Yeah, as much as it annoyed me when it happened, like, it, it was actually a pretty good, like, difficulty... Good and appropriate difficulty spike. So I think the procedural generation of the worlds uh, changes with the difficulty as well. Because when I was playing earlier on, on difficulty four, I had to hit another one of those pits, and I like if I wasn't playing my driller at the time, I don't know how I would have dealt with that pit. It was fucked. So yeah, there's that. Um, so this game retails on Steam, not on sale for. $25. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, right, what did you rebuy? What did we do? I think we I think I bought it for everyone for like 14 bucks or something. So, but even at 25 bucks, for me personally, I would do it again. Absolutely. I I'd pay more. Shit. <laughs> I'd pay more for this. I'd pay more than that. I would. Yeah. I would rebuy. Yeah, it's totally worth the $25. If you have four friends to play with it, definitely it's harder to throw it at just the single player experience. I'd yeah. Say. yeah, it really um, shines co co-op. Although, uh, Max, I know you've played the probably the most single player out of us, but have you played in the like? Um, have you played any of the lobby games, like the public games, with anyone? I haven't played with. I don't like do puppies. No, puppies. okay. I, I played with a few puppies, and it was it was pretty fun. Like they were the community seems pretty solid too. At least, at least in my anecdotal experience. So. so yes, the answer is yes from all of us. Is that a sweep? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. From like, this is one of the few games that we're gonna play. We're gonna revisit. We're gonna probably keep playing regularly after this video is released. We're gonna like. I don't see any reason to quit playing it necessarily if we don't have anything else we're doing. Yeah, agreed. It's like. Gen Zero is going to be way too intense some nights for us. Sure. <laughs> no, no doubt. It's it's robot apocalypse. That shit's scary. Sometimes you just want to hit some minerals on a wall. 
and yeah. fight some bugs. Shoot some shit. Maybe, maybe like I could see us talking about would you rebuys about other games playing this game. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? How, remember, guys. Remember how much fun we had in Deep Rock Galactic. That's what this game could have been if it didn't suck. <laughs> or we're playing. We're playing Deep Rock Galactic. Talk, talking about like Gen Zero. Like <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the game we play when we do our Gen Zero. Would you rebuy? Yeah. <laughs> I got my new gun. Uh, Luke, back, Luke. Yeah, see, we have to come back and see Z's, Z's new gun. Also, I'm pretty sure, like, there's no way they're not going to add cool shit to this game. Absolutely. So. It'll gonna... be fun to revisit and have new fun stuff. I just realized today, too, that the upgrades you get... Okay, on the bottom of your gun, you see those little, like, green things that you're unlocking as you get upgrades? Yeah. Those unlock skins. So, there's that. Oh, yeah. You go to your armor. Same deal. Same deal, but it's not skins. Ooh, it gives plus you five plus health. five health. Oh. So fully upgrading. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man, this is a good game. Four out of four. Would we buy? Would we buy again? Me too. <laughs> With hindsight, twenty twenty, we would make the same decision. I uh, would buy it sooner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. All right. I would have thrown more money at it. <laughs> don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. Yeah, don't tell don't him make that. it pay to win. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, no, well, I wouldn't want to be pay to win. Just keep, make it more money to to play it because it's worth it. Hey, Tiggy. Can you stop talking so I can wrap the shit up? More money, more problems. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. Come get a round of beer. Round of beer. Round of beer. Let's do it. On me. Oh, Relief beer. lovers. Don't fucking. Let's wait, wait. Everyone get one and like let's hold it together and cheers it. Okay. Let's be all cheesy. Why they call it a roofie when oh. it should be called a flory? Hey, three, two, one, cheers! Four out of four, would we buy? Woo! Thanks for watching, guys. Ski, ski. That's the new outro. Ski, ski. <laughs>